Good morning and happy Friday everybody. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing some color mixing. Um, I traced out a heart and a, kind of like a daisy sunflower thing, but believe it or not, I'm going to use a Sharpie orange uh, color pen and it's extra fine point to uh, do the outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline my heart to begin with, right? It doesn't matter if your pencil lines show. I'm going to come here. This is my leaf. And here is my little cone that holds my flower up. This is my center. These are my little petals. And don't worry about the pencil marks. You can always erase those tomorrow when this is dry. Okay, and I'm going to put some little, I don't know, little curves in here, a little triangle here for the center. And remember, I'm paint, I'm doing, drawing this really fast because I can do this with my eyes closed, but um, I don't expect you to go at the speed that I am, and you can just take your video and pause it until you get to that point. Okay, and what I'm using is um, mixed media uh, form board from Strathmore, and you can use any kind of uh, white cardboard you have, any watercolor paper, it doesn't matter. Okay, just remember, we're using whatever we have at home. So I don't want you to go crazy trying to find supplies and say, oh gosh, I don't have that one, right? So now everybody can see that neon orange color there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first find a paper towel. I forgot to give myself a paper towel. And I'm going to do this little flower uh, uh, pink. So I have some little pink paint here. Whoops, got a little bit of the yellow, didn't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of my pink and I'm going to come on the edges here of my cardboard, right? I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to take that paint and walk it around the edges here so that they're going to be stronger in, in one side than the other. See that? And this is just regular cardboard. If you have a matte board at home, uh, you've framed something and you don't like it, take that little piece of cardboard on the back of it, take it off and... Now you have something to paint on. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you that you can paint on anything. So um, uh, you don't realize all the materials that you have at home that you can actually paint on. So um, I'm doing this so that you don't think that you need, you know, thousands of dollars of paint supplies. So um, this is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this little flower here with my little pinks. And notice that I'm not filling in the whole petal. I'm just leaving some of that white showing, right? The center, I'm going to take a little bit of a yellowy brown and fill that in. And I'm going to put a darker side here, but I'm going to leave the right side or your left um, a little bit lighter. It's starting to look like something, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of red paint. And I'm going to water it down and I'm going to come at the edges here and walk it out a little bit to give it a little contrast. See that? And remember, I paint fast because I'm teaching you on a video and I don't want you to spend the whole day looking at a video and hearing somebody talk. So you can remember, pause this and fast forward at your um, convenience. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that red. I'm going to come here and I'm going to move that around. And where the petal uh, meets the center of the flower, that's going to be my darkest area. See that? I'm going really dark here where that meets. And that's going to give it a little contrast. And now you don't see that orange so much, right? It's almost kind of disappeared. Oh, and I'm getting my table a little dirty here. Uh, take a little bit more of that red. And come in here. And what I like about it is you can still see those little see those little orange pen lines. Uh, they're showing up, but they're not really in your face. See that? So now we have a little flower. Now, if you notice, I didn't do all my petals exactly the same size. Some of you tend to just go all the way around here and make a little haircut type thing. See how some of them are long, some of them are short. That's what I want you to do. I want you to do different levels. See that? Long, 
show it there's some white showing and the white on the top uh, what it does is opens up the flower a little bit more and now you're wondering what color am I gonna do the heart everybody tends to do the hearts uh, red but ah, I'm gonna be a little different and I'm gonna do mine blue so I'm gonna put a little bit more water in my brush and I'm gonna do my blue wash because I want those red lines to show and wherever you have one uh, part of your painting meet with another that's always darker so around that petal around that leaf here that's going to be darker and we're going to paint that leaf in a minute but for now because we want that leaf to pop out and what i'm going to do is on the edges of my heart i'm going to make that a little bit darker because i want that to stand out see that so I'm just using my darker blue for that. I think this is looking really cute. What do you think? The tops, remember, are always lighter. So I'm not gonna mess around. See up here, I'm not gonna mess around too much with that because I want this area here to all stay white. And it's okay if you see a little bit of that orange. I think that looks pretty cute if you ask me, but what? You know what do I think I think it's painting is cool anyway so anything that you paint is really nice I'm gonna come back here and put a little bit of that brown in there now our, our, our leaf here is gonna be green so I'm gonna take a little bit of my green paint and just do the bottom of my leaf see I didn't put a lot of paint on there that's it that's all it needs a, a lot of times less is more okay and now we're gonna do the stem so I'm gonna take my hand and keep my hand really steady which is really hard to do for me and I have my little green stem and now we're gonna go a little bit darker underneath the little flower here and let's say you paint something and you really uh, are not sure if you like it or not a lot of times I like to crop my paintings so let's say you had your flower here right and this is here sometimes I, I like the idea of just cropping things so that they look a little bit different so remember just get yourself a black mat board see how much that changes the uh, the look of it so always have on hand a little black mat board so that you can decide where you want to go um, and then if at the end you see that you want to go darker in some areas what I do is in order to go darker a little bit here I'm going to take a little bit of my red and that dark yellow and I'm going to come in here and what happens is when I combine the two colors it makes this little corner a lot darker see that and I think that's done I wouldn't do anything else to it um, Tomorrow when it's dry, take your pencil eraser. Uh, I would use a white eraser. Never use a yellow pencil uh, eraser with that. And erase all your lines. And you're done. If you don't uh, want to leave the background the same color, just add a little bit of color on it. But I, would, I think it looks good the way it does. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. And I'm going to do some speckling on my background. And I used the blue paint that I had. And we're done. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Keep painting. Send me some samples of what you've done. And we'll see you next week. Same time, same place.